What an amazing morning. So I just came to pick up my groceries. I came here on my bike and um, everybody meets outside. So they bring it out to you, order it on the phone, pay for it on the phone and then come and pick it up. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And these are my eggs here in a bag. See you later. It's not a very savoury place on the side of the road but the smell of the blossom on these fruit trees is just amazing. It's uh, thick with the perfume, it's wonderful. I thought you'd like to know, even if you can't smell it, I can tell you about it. There's a little monk jack way off in the distance in front of me. And one just shot off to my right. Um, they certainly have taken over here. Funny how horses seem not to be moving, but these are, I've been stood here for a few minutes, checking them out, and uh, they've moved gradually nearer and nearer to me. I like these all black ones, they're beautiful, aren't they? I wasn't sure if this would be helpful to you or not. I um, bought this um, combination gauge online and um, had it brought in from China um, because it always intrigued me. I see them often enough and I've wondered about the quality of them. And I was, um, I was very conscious of the quality of the making of this um, particular combination gauge because it's remarkably made. It's very, very nice. There is no compromise on the quality. There's only one uh, flaw that I could find with it and that was that this brass section in the gauge is, is protruding past the end which is so easily taken care of and should never have happened really. And, um, and, and that would be taken care of with a file for me. I probably will just deal with it. Um, but it's, it's very nicely made, it's a very hard, dense grained wood and um, it's a natural colour, I don't believe it's stained at all, it's, uh, it's very nicely made, brass part, solid brass, it's got the adjuster down at this end which really works very nicely as well. So if you wanted an adjustable uh, mortise combination marking gauge all-in-one tool which I do recommend this would be a nice one to have and I think you you could improve on the finish although there's nothing wrong with it it's just a durable finish and it's just a, a really good practical tool to have and um, I think it's uh, the pins this is another thing that often happens is a pin is usually one is longer than the other uh, in there sometimes and that makes it a little awkward to use it it's got very sharp points and it marks the surface just fine without any problem. Uh, so it, it's a tool that's ready to go out of the box. Uh, and I think it would be uh, two or three of these and you would have all, all that you need. And it's a lifetime tool. You would have this for the rest of your life. It's Mui Fang that has made this. Uh, Mui Fang, uh, it's hard for me to pronounce. I don't know how it would be pronounced in China. But it's really a very, very nice tool. I think I could recommend it to anybody. These are onions that, um, that I let come through from last year's onions and uh, I didn't expect them. So uh, it's always nice to get these sports that pop up now and again. I just wanted to see what happens. I could be disappointed, but I don't. I doubt it. I, I have had a 
good results from this little pot of land really. And I've increased it behind me, I've got the growing boxes now, so I'm just teasing out the weeds. You know, I learned long ago that if you let weeds get too big, they can overwhelm you, and the ideal is to pull them just after a rain and pull them when they don't get too big. That was Texas gardening that taught me that. Especially that pigweed, you guys that live in Texas or wherever in the US, I guess. Pigweed, oh, what a disaster that stuff is. But you can eat it too, you know. This doesn't sound very nice. Well, the best way to get rid of weeds is to put hogs in your field. There's not much left after they've been there for a week or two. Little babies coming in. What a cute little thing. <laughs> Covid-19 is here. And then so is nature. All our struggles, our problems, our thoughts, our feelings. See how he ran across the surface of the water? He has no real wings, but he does flap. But it's really his um, paddles for feet that really get him where he wants to be. I think that's really neat, the way they pad, 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 pad across the water. Lots of activity this morning. Because there always is on the lake. And, uh, I just you can walk the back way from the shop and this is where I end up. It's really a very... It was very unexpected for me to find this place when I first moved here because I just thought that the countryside was a long way away from me. And, uh, it's been marvellous during this coronavirus um, epidemic to find this place where I can remain in isolation and get my exercise and um, and be able to talk to you from this remote place I suppose really so uh, I hope you're all doing well I, I, I am um, quite amazed at how well our National Health Service the NHS has kept up with the coronavirus it's been a very difficult passage for them because they've lost their colleagues uh, in this and they are in the front line. It's a different kind of war that we're fighting and um, we all have to do our due diligence to make sure we don't put more strain on them. But I just, I really wanted to thank the NHS for, for all that they're doing because this is beyond the call of duty in some ways, although it, I know if you join the military you cannot not expect to go to some situation where you're going to put yourself in danger. And it's the same with the NHS. There are always the risks of some kind of virus or some kind of disease being contracted. But in this circumstance, I don't think anybody really signed up for this level of engagement and uh, I just wanted to thank them really I, uh, whether when they uh, if they ever saw this or heard it or whatever I just wanted to make it said out loud and uh, I'm very appreciative for what they've given to us and trying to preserve life and um, and everything so it's really a remarkable thing this is human nature coming together that better side of human nature, not the ugly side. Well, I'm going back to work now, and um, I've got some designs to pull together and so on, and uh, I have to do some, I've got to do more than I'm doing. But without my friends at work, it's much more difficult, it makes it much more complicated. Keep your chin up everybody and keep fighting the good fight. See you soon.